Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss the top agile testing interview questions and answers. So, if you have any kind of interview schedule next week, and which can, and if you have mentioned that you have performed any kind of agile testing, these are the questions that you need should know before uh, attending those interviews. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys. So before starting the tutorial, I would like to mention that I have created lots of API testing tutorials. If you are interested in it, definitely I would uh, recommend you to download uh, or go to the uh, playlist section of this channel and where you will uh, see lots of API testing tutorials. Right? And if you are basically going for any kind of interview and Selenium, you have mentioned that you have worked with Selenium, then do check out my four part series of Selenium interview question and answer which contains lots of important advanced interview question that are basically going to help you to crack your next interview. Uh, if you are interested in cybers, learning Cybers to test your web application, do check out my Cybers tutorials also. And if the fourth one is the auto automation mindset videos. So if you are any kind of manual tester or manual, uh, you are performing lots of manual testing and all, how you can achieve the automation and all. So these mindset videos I have created especially for you. So do check out those videos and let me know in the comments how do you feel about those okay so uh, let's start our agile testing interview question and answer with the first question which is the very to the point question lots of people ask you directly whenever you are uh, doing the interview means what do you understand by agile testing so to explain that agile testing to them you need to tell them that it's a software testing process uh, that follows the principle of agile software development so if we you guys are in your company and all performing or follows agile software development then the testing that you practice is the agile testing right basically what will happen in the agile testing is that it's an iterative software development methodology where that in the agile is that uh, your requirements are keeps on changing according to your customer needs so as your requirements are keeps on changing you need to basically uh, change the way the how you test your application right so how you achieve that thing in uh, in that case is that it's basically comes under the agile testing so testing is also done in the parallel of software development so that's why uh, whenever the software is starting to run basically the planning phase of software developer development you are basically starting your testing also so you are also planning how the what what are the test cases are there and all right so this is a parallel process with it uh, the last point which is the very important point to mention is that test team will receive a frequent code updates so you will receive a key you will receive a new build new build new build uh, according to the customer that uh, needs or probably the frequent updates due to some bugs and all so you will at the end you will have keep on iterating going on uh, iterations uh, iteration by iterations of this build and you will have a proper stable build that you are going to release so that's how you perform a agile testing right so this is the process basically if we talk about the agile testing we have impact uh, it basically have an impact assessments agile test planning basically we start with planning we have daily scrums we have agile or uh, review meetings and all right and after that we are whenever we are ready with this so we have re release readiness and off right so it's a circular process after we have done this a new change will come and we will again do the cycle right so uh, this is another important question uh, most of the people will ask you that what is agile what do you understand by agile manifesto so agile manifesto defines the four important points if you see this diagram it's very uh, very 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 uh, you can say very in a very layman terms they have explained that individual interaction over the process and tools so we are not interested in what are the process and tools that you are basically doing we are basically uh, interested in individual and their interactions right and second point is that we need a working software rather than a comprehensive documentation if the or if you provide customer a working software then you can skip lots of uh, you can say comprehensive uh, document right documentation right so that's what agile says and agile also say that customer collaboration basically you will collaborate your customers rather than just negotiating with them with some um, all the things right you will basically collaborate rather than uh, a one way communication you will have a two way communication you will understand the customer need you change your changes and all that's what agile is all about right responding to change over the following a plan so it's all about in the agile is that whenever the customer says that they need this kind of things you basically change these and they will 
so that you will have a frequent code updates also in this case right so rather than following a plan that we will create this thing no you will basically going to respond to a particular change this is all about the agile manifesto right so other, another interesting question is that uh, how how is agile testing different from the traditional software development models it's very uh, uh, it is one of the common agile testing interview question trust me and in the agile methodology testing is a not a phase like other traditional methods so in the traditional methods uh, software testing is a phase after the development right so it's not a phase it's actually a parallel process so whenever you start your development you will start the testing also right so if the development developer is trying to plan what is is going to uh, create then in the testing also we will create a plan and test cases around it so it's a parallel process along with it that's what's the major difference in it the time slot for the testing is less than this less in agile as compared to lots of other methodologies and testing team works on a small features in agile right where testing works on a complete application of that so in a traditional way we have a complete software already created and we want to test it out but in child we'll have a small feature we'll test it out and we'll just uh, change and the new changes will come again we test it out and also this cycles keep on repeating all right so let's come to the question number four which is that how do you use agile scrum methodology right so when when so when do we use actually when do we use agile scrum methodology so when the customer or the client is not clear about the requirement then it's a very perfect example of using agile scrum methodology when the client expects quick releases so if any kind of uh, client which is expecting lots of quick releases and all you should uh, use a agile scrum methodology in this case when the client doesn't give all the requirements so if you have very small requirements or requirements are keep on changing according to the customer and all definitely this is a agile scrum methodology uh, application that you want to develop right so let's come to some uh, points related to the agile right these questions are basically going to ask whenever you mention any kind of agile or thing in your resume right so they'll ask you what is a product backlog or sprint backlog right so product backlog is a basically repository where the list of product backlog items are stored right and similarly sprint backlog is a basically you group of user stories which scrum development team agreed during the current sprint right so there's a major difference between them okay so you need to tell the there's the difference and uh, le let's come to our uh, uh, the next point is that uh, it's a subset of product backlog so we have a bigger bucket of product backlog that they have a product backlog here which contains the items and after that they'll put into a sprint right so it's a subset so sprint backlog is a subset of your product backlog that's what uh, the major difference right so uh, this is another interesting question which uh, which is going to uh, like uh, come in interviews lots of time which is burn up and burn down chart so burn down charts are basically proof that the project is on the track or not it basically give a clear vision it's on track or not and burn up chart basically it tell you that how much work has been completed in the project right so in a simple manner burn down is basically telling you if you are on a right track or not burn up is basically going to tell you how much work is already done right so what are the different types of burn down charts burn down charts are basically product burn down sprint burn down and release burn down right so we have also defect burn down also so what is a product burn burn down chart a graph which basically shows how many product backlog items are there so uh, as you can see in the graph that we have a points versus sprint velocity right so a graph basically shows how many product items implemented or not implemented so any kind of uh, product burn down chart is basically showing you how much burn down of your product backlog items has already happened with the sprints so if the sprint one is there there are like 30 30 points of uh, product uh, backlog items over there and after that they are going to reduce by day by day right by sprint by sprint so that is all the product burn down chart is going to explain in the sprint burn down we'll basically tell you, you is that uh, a graph which basically shows how many sprints implemented or not implemented by scrum team right so similarly we have a percentage of it and with day one day two how your sprint burn down is happening this is showing you again so release burn down it's a very similar chart it's again a burn down chart which basically shows lists of releases which are still pending, which are scrum team have planned and all, everything related to it. Defined burn down is again a graph which shows how many defects has been identified and fixed. 
So is again, if uh, the sprint zero is there, there will be a zero bugs, and after that, as your sprints goes increases, the defect uh, basically fixed and identified is also going to increase, and all, right? So uh, lots of people will ask you what is a daily stand up and what are the points that you have to mention in the daily stand up in interview versions, right? So daily stand up, it's a basically a routine meeting which basically everyone will tell you the information about uh, the information they are going to tell you is that what did you complete yesterday? Any implement any implements basically any kind of blocker what do you commit today what are you going to do today and what do you think you can be done right so what uh, so the four thing that you have to be mentioned that what you did yesterday uh, what you any blocker or what you are going to today three things are very much important and if you have any kind of blocker then you need to communicate in the team similarly what's the sprint planning meeting uh, it's a very sprint planning meeting is where entire scrum team will attend right and they'll basically product owner selects the product backlog and put it into a sprint sprints right so that is all about it in this sprint review meeting what will happen is that will basically product owner declare that which items are completed and which are not completed and uh, basically team team is going to represent what they have actually created or any kind of shippable product that they have made right so they are going to tell you that okay these are items we have taken and this is a product that we have actually made and product owner will basically uh, declares or check okay this is completed or not right so it will, it will be going to mark if it is not completed again move back to the backlog right similarly the last thing in the sprints in the agile is that what is sprint retrospect retrospect is a meeting uh, after the sprint uh, review meeting and document so basically they are uh, in this meeting we are going to uh, basically mention that what are the learnings that we had so if we have uh, this problem we have uh, this kind of uh, blocker everything that has to be written so we'll basically going to ask the major question what went well and what can be improved and what will be what went wrong so three questions that we need to ask in this one so that is uh, it basically helps you to the scrum to avoid mistakes in the next sprint right so this is the core agenda of this sprint retrospect so similarly we have a task board task board is basically nothing but a board dashboard which basically gives you a progress what how's your agile uh, team is doing right is basically have a user stories to do list and in progress common columns are there right in the and to verify and if it is done and all then you can mention it right? so that's all about this video and uh, i hope you have understood lots of agile testing questions and answers and uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video and if you have any kind of question, do, do let me know in the comments. I'll happy to help you. Okay. This is your host, Pramod, and have a nice day.